going to talk to you about some troubleshooting things that you can do if you're having a problem in Apple Classroom. So I have Apple Classroom open here on my iPad, and if I go into a class, chances are I might see some students from time to time that show off offline. Um, so it's important to note that the range of Apple Classroom is typically about 150 feet uh, from your device. So wherever your device is, you have about 150 foot range on how well or how far Apple Classroom is going to reach. And it's only going to show you students that are in one of your official PowerSchool classes. So um, I won't be able to see just random people walking down the hall, but I should be able to see other people in my class. Now, from time to time, you're going to see some people who show up as offline. Now, when those students show up as offline, there's a couple things that you can check to make sure um, that they are doing what they need to on their end to make sure that they are in your class officially. So here I am on a student device. Um, now, students do not have access to the Apple Classroom app, so they don't have to do anything from their end, period, to join a class. There are a few things that I can check on a student device if I'm having issues. So I'm going to go ahead and swipe down from the upper right hand corner on a student's device. Um, once I do that, you're going to see a few options that I can double check. The first is Bluetooth. Uh, make sure Bluetooth is on. If they have Bluetooth turned off, it'll be grayed out like that. Uh, make sure Bluetooth is on so that they uh, can connect to your device. The other thing to verify is airplane mode. Uh, there's a, an airplane option in there. If the airplane mode is turned on, uh, that means it'll be highlighted orange and you'll see a little airplane in the upper right hand corner next to the Wi-Fi symbol. If you tap airplane mode off, then it is no longer orange and the airplane disappears. So both of these have to be set just like this, um, Bluetooth on, airplane mode off, in order for it to be able to connect. Um, the other thing that you can have them do is they need to make sure that they are signed into their Apple ID. This is their school Apple ID that they were signed into during the summer automatically, and it is locked to prevent them from being able to sign out of. Now, from time to time, they will get a pop-up message that may ask them to re-enter their password for their Apple ID. Now, their Apple ID password is their six-digit birthday, two digits from month, day, and year. Um, many students struggle with this, so they may need some uh, help figuring this out. Another thing you can check is an app called Schoolwork. Now, Schoolwork is similar to Canvas. It's like a learning management system from Apple, but it uses those same Apple Classroom classes that you use for Apple Classroom. So what I can do, um, if I do not have the Schoolwork app installed, uh, you can go to the Manager app and you can find the Schoolwork app in Manager. So I can scroll, find the Schoolwork app, and tell it to install. Once I have it install that app in the Manager app, um, within a few minutes, that app will show up and it looks like this. When I tap to open up Schoolwork, it's gonna ask them to welcome the Schoolwork and tell them to start learning. And then they should see their classes show up here on the left-hand side and their classes that are listed should match uh, their schedule. So they should have one listing for every class they have in PowerSchool. All right, again, they can quit the app. They're not gonna do anything in the app. All that app does is it's just another step to help verify that they're in the classes that they're supposed to be in, and it will sometimes refresh Apple Classroom to make those things connect. Now, if all else fails, you can always have them try restarting their device as well. If you do make some changes on their setting uh, to try to make their issue work, then I would also recommend that you end your class to go back out and then simply go back into that class to, in order to refresh and reflect those changes. So hopefully that makes Apple Classroom work a little easier for you.